Well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us in uh, a sort of a unique news conference. We have with us today our crime prevention officer, Rodney Wilson, who's going to be a special assistant to Santa Claus. And Santa Claus, I'm going to give it away right now, isn't actually Santa Claus, that's our own Chief Mike Koval. And he has been in touch with the real Santa Claus, and Santa has shipped him the suit. So we're going to talk to you about our top ten holiday shopping safety tips. The first question comes from Lisa. She wants to know how to keep her cash and wallet safe. Well, first of all, Lisa, you know, you don't go to the checkout with a flash roll of cash and all your credit. I mean, why don't you say, take me, take me. The key here is at the point of purchase, when it's that quintessential moment only, get out what you're going to pay for and take it right, take it right back. Put it in your messenger bag, put it in your wallet, put it in your purse. Don't leave the wallet just sitting there like a trophy for someone to take. Sorry about that. Uh, so, Lisa, good thinking now. Come on, let's not flash what we got. You earned it, keep it. This, is, this question comes from Facebook. Facebook? Jeff, well, yeah, yeah. I'm not a Facebook guy. <laughs> Jeff's question comes from him wondering, what should he do when he's shopping at night? How does he keep himself safe at night? Safe at night. Safe at night. Okay, first of all, when you're parking a car, Look for a well-lit part of the parking lot, okay? And then always keep your access to your cell phone kind of handy to you. Don't keep cell phone, wallet, goods all in the same pocket. As long as you have access to that cell phone, even if someone grabs your messenger bag, your backpack, rips off your purse off your shoulder, at least you can call 911 right away, all right? And don't do anything heroic. That's for the professionals. Pat would like to know how to keep his house safe when he was away on vacation during the holidays. Yeah, safe for while you're on vacation. Okay, Pat. First of all, I know you're going to the Bahamas, Pat, because I got a lead on Santa Claus. So I know your travel agenda. But you don't have to broadcast it everywhere else. So when you're leaving for several days, put a stop on your newspaper. Put a stop on mail. Make sure someone's there to plow the sidewalks. Plow your driveway. Ask the neighbors to go in periodically to take a look around and... If you have the opportunity, put yourself on a lighting system where it be timed out. You want to give that house or that apartment a looked in field and like it's occupied, all right? Like you never left home. Frank likes to post everything he does online. He wonders, is there anything he should or shouldn't post over the holidays? <laughs> Frank, you're not infamous. No one cares that you're brushing your teeth. We don't care about your daily, hourly events. It really is minutia, and you really got to get over your self-absorbed behaviors. But be that as it may, if you think that other people are reading about you, get a life, so are bad people. So why don't you just telegraph exactly where you are and when you're not at home? Stupid idea, Frank. I'm just saying, build on your self-concept. Less information is better. Okay, great. This one's number nine. This, nine. this comes from Grace. Bless well, the this is almost over. Yes. <laughs> Grace called asking about phone scams. She wants to know if her grandson calls and has been arrested in another state or country, should she buy a prepaid card to bail him out? No! No, Grace! No! It's the oldest scam in the world. Don't send any money, don't give any identification, nothing. I don't care if they say that the IRS, the jail, no, do not. As a matter of fact, you can call us, the local police, let them know you're being scammed. This is the oldest thing. Do not send penny one. Do not give any identifying information. Are we clear, Grace? All right, Grace. Okay. Sorry, I got a little out of my skin on it's that okay. One. That's okay. That's <laughs> okay. That was Okay. It really bothers me when people do yeah, that. that is, okay. I, yes, it does. <laughs> Um, this is number 10. So. Oh, okay. Is this the last one? What is your last Hold safety on. tip for the holidays? Okay. It's this time of goodwill, peace to all. We all need to be good neighbors to each other. That means getting to know the people who live with us, around us. Get to know those people that can help us help one another. So be partners, community, neighbors, friends. 
Together we're going to make a, an impact on everybody's safety, and together we're all going to make a difference in making a dent on these holiday crimes. So let's not provide those opportunities, folks. Let's be smart out there, and uh, happy holidays.